and welcome to my channel. My name is Shay, this is Shay Geeks Out, and this video is my manga collection video for 2021. Just an FYI, I film these videos yearly, usually in the first quarter of the year, and I show you guys how my collection has changed and grown. If you are interested in a previous collection, I will leave both of them linked down below. And so this is my complete collection of read manga. I do have some unread volumes that are not on the shelves because I don't put them on my shelves until I've read them. So if you're interested in my unread manga TBR, let me know in the comments down below. It's not very long. I don't have a ton. I tend to read through them pretty quickly. So just know that you're not going to see the ones that I haven't read on this shelf. So with that said, let's go. Okay, so up here on the top of my skinny shelf here, I've got my full collection of Full Metal Alchemist, though I do have volumes one through three out on loan to a friend, and my Alphonse Fungal Pop, which was a gift from Callum over it on the shelf. I love being able to display them together. And yes, that is the complete 27 volume series. So there's a couple volumes kind of tucked back here. Let's move down. On this next shelf here, I have my collection of Death Note. I do have the Black Editions. I really enjoy those. And then I have volume one of He's My Only Vampire. I really want to continue with that one. I also have the first volume of With a Dog and a Cat Every Day is Fun. It's a really sweet story about um, a person documenting their life with their dog and their cat. And then I have Oh My Sweet Alien, which is a one-shot omnibus that's really a lot of fun about a married couple where the wife is an alien, and I quite love it. So up here on the top, I have the first six volumes of Horamiya, and I really want to collect more. My local stores just don't seem to get those in. And then I have the first five volumes of The Heroic Legend of Arslan, and then I also have my volumes of The Golden Sheep, which is complete of the three volumes. All right, so on the shelf, I do have the first four volumes of Perfect World. I do have it tucked a little bit back. This is about a couple with where the man in the couple is paralyzed and in a wheelchair. And I talk about my thoughts on that series on the channel all the time, so I'm sure you can find it. And then I have most of the volumes of Kiss Me at the Stroke of Midnight. I have them stacked back this, you know, so like there's the front one facing out and everything stacked behind it. I'm missing just, I believe, volumes two, three, and four right now because I was originally thinking I was just going to collect it digitally, but I got early easy access to some physicals. So that's how that happened. I do have the first four volumes of Something's Wrong With Us. Volume five just came out today upon filming, so I just haven't picked it up yet. And I, I these are only ones that I've read, as I said in the intro. And then I have all 12 volumes of Sweetness and Lightning, which I, again is another series that I just love and adore. Now we have all 15 volumes of Silver Spoon. Again, that goes back. This is a shonen series in which we're dealing with agriculture. So um, if you are sensitive or vegan, this is probably not going to be the series for you because it's pretty legit on everything it shows. So just be careful of that. But I really love Haichiken and the journey that he goes on with the series. Then I have the first two volumes of My Dress Up Darling right here, and then the first three volumes of Megas of the Library. I do have the next volumes in both of these, but they are currently on a TBR, as you guys are probably aware. And then I do have the three volumes of Phantom Tales of the Night, which again is another one that I have the next volume for and hope to read this weekend and then I have the Secret Soccer Shares which is a gift from Laura over at the Manga Hoarder and again is another series that I really just love and adore. On to the next. This is my comics and graphic novel shelf. I just did a video talking about everything on this shelf so I will leave it linked in the corner for you so you can check out that video. On the bottom shelf here of my skinny shelf I have my Rumiko Takahashi collection for the most part. There's one more volume that um, I have in another spot. I just haven't moved it down here yet. And this is my Kilala from Inuyasha. And then I've got the first 10 volumes of Ron My Half here and then Mermaid Saga Volume 2, which you guys saw me get in another video this week. Let's move on to the big bookcases. Okay, so up here on the top shelf, I have my complete collection of Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Really loving that. I also have the first two omnibuses of the collector's edition of Chobits. Again, love these. I have a whole reading vlog for this one on the channel, so I'll leave that linked in the corner. 
I have the first three volumes of the Hardback Rose of Versailles. There's two more coming out. I don't know when. I hope soon, because I really enjoy the series. And then I have my complete collection of After the Rain. Elements of like an age gap romance, but I really like the ending on this one. Then, my babies. I have the first 12 volumes of A Bride Story, which is all that's currently out. These are in beautiful hardbacks, and you all are aware of how much I love this series and the art in it. It's amazing. Quick detour. I've got my BTS Funkos right there. And I love them. They're a lot of fun. Then I've got Wotakoi, Love is Hard for Otaku, the first four volumes that are available in the U.S. Again, another series I love and adore. Meizani Koku Volume 1. This is the one that hasn't moved down to the Takahashi shelf yet. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I want to rearrange that shelf so it better fits. Then I have the complete collection of Cheese Sweet Home. Again, catch shenanigans. It's adorable. I love it. I'm going to readjust and we'll come back. Sticking with the top shelf on the neighboring bookcase, I have my complete Haikyuu collection um, up through volume 42. There's a handful of volumes still to come out, but you all know my obsession with the series and how much I love it. Then I've got Paradise Kiss here. I've got some of my bigger omnibus titles. This contains all five volumes. It's the 20th anniversary edition of Vertical. And then I have I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, which I really enjoyed. Sazan and Comet Girl, which I really enjoyed, and Wish, which is one of my all-time favorites. Now we're officially on the top shelf here, and this is where I have my Shoujo Beat collection in alphabetical order. So, to start off here in the corner, I have volumes one through three and volume seven of A Devil and Her Love Song, which is a series that I borrowed from my girl Maeve, or what Maeve ever reading. Loved it. All six volumes of Absolute Boyfriend. Again, another series I really love and enjoy. Then I have all 13 volumes of Our Horror Ride. Again, just a very choice, very good series. Then I've got the first two volumes, well, the only two volumes of Beastmaster. Um, this is by the same mangaka that does some of my favorite series, so I really enjoyed this one. All seven volumes of Behind the Scenes. I did a podcast episode of Shoujo and Tell for this one. I'll leave that linked in the corner. Then I've got the 13 volumes of Dawn of the Arcana. Really, really love that. And then I have the 10 volumes that are currently out of Daytime Shooting Star. Going across because that's how I did it alphabetically. All right, I do have all 16 volumes of Dengeki Daisy, but again, it stacks back. Love this series a whole lot. Nobody else really talks about it, though. It's an older shoujo, but I love it. It is an age gap, so not everybody loves that. And then I've got Demon Love Spell, all six volumes. Again, really love it. All 16 volumes of Demon Prince of Momochi House. Again, another series I've reviewed on this channel if you want my thoughts. Then I've got volumes 1 through 9 of Everyone's Getting Married. Volume 1 of Far From Away. The first three volumes of Honey Hunt. All eight volumes of Honey So Sweet, one of my all-time favorites. Kakurio Bed and Breakfast for Spirits. So I've got the first six on that one, which is all that's currently out in the U.S. Um, Kamikaze Girl. Again, another gift from Laura over the manga hoarder. And then just tucked in the corner there, but I'm not going to pull it out is Kenka Bancho Otome, the two volumes. And that's just a really fun, like, Otome-style shoujo. Involves, like, a school where they do battle. It's really hilarious. I really enjoyed that one. All right, so I do have the first 13 volumes of Kamisama Kiss. Again, another series I really love. Looking forward to collecting more on that one. And then I have the complete series of Kitchen Princess. This is a really sweet love triangle between brothers that involves cooking. I quite like it. And then I've got the first two volumes here of Kimi ni Todoke, and then the first six volumes of Love Me, Love Me Not. Again, two series that I really, really enjoy and I'm looking forward to collecting more of. All right, so I've got the complete collection of Maid-sama. Again, they're all stacked back. And I love this series. I plan on doing a reread soon. And then I've got volumes one through seven of Midnight Secretary. Again, vampires. I love it. Next to them is more vampires, which is Millennium Snow, which is kind of like... Bisco Hattori's take on like a Twilight story. And then I do have the first five volumes of My Love Story, which again is another series I really love. All right, so back here, I've got the first volume of Natsume's Book of Friends. I've got the two volumes of Not Your Idol right here. I do have Angelic Layer stacked up here, even though it's not a shoujo beat, but that's just because it's where it fit on the shelf. So that's why it's there. I do have three volumes of Prince Freya. I plan on picking up volume four soon, but I have already read it. Love the series a whole lot. 
everybody's mad at me because I make them read it and they're stuck waiting on things with me. <laughs> then I've got QQ Sweeper as well as the first volume of Queen's Quality. Again, another series I really love and adore. I do have the first two volumes of Spy Family and then I also have this amazing volume sealed of Red River. Um, my girl Maeve gave this to me as a present and I am so grateful and will probably leave it sealed. I don't know if I'll ever read it in this format but either way, I'm really happy to own it. And then I do have all 13 volumes of Requiem of the Rose King. Y'all know this is one of my favorites. And if you don't know, this is news to you. <laughs> but one of my favorite all-time shoujo series. It's political fantasy at its peak. I love it. And I love this cover so much it had to face out. Then I've got 11 volumes of Shortcake Cake. I've only got one more volume left to collect on this one. It's almost done. Then I've got SP Baby, those two volumes, and then I have this three-in-one of Skip Beat. I'm still not sure how I feel about Skip Beat and whether I'm going to continue or not. Tell me whether you think I should or not. And then I do have the 12 volumes of Snow White with the Red Hair. Volume 12 is not technically out, but that was kind of gifted to me by Viz. Um, you can look at one of my previous videos to see all of that. If there's room to link it, I will. And then I have all 10 volumes of Strobe Edge. Again, I love the cover, so it had to face out. Moving on to the next shelf. Alrighty, so this shelf is where things start to get a little chaotic because there are some things that are double stacked on this shelf. So quickly, let's kind of go towards the back here. I have A Perfect Day for Love Letters, Volume 1, Mugen Spiral, the two volumes, Volume 1 of Given, the two volumes of Cutie and the Beast that are currently out, the two volumes of Fire in His Fingertips that are currently out, and the first volume of Fiance of the Wizard. Next to that, we have Our Dreams at Ducks, the Collect series, and the first three volumes of Yuzu, the Pet Vet. I'm going to quickly shift those out of the way, and then we'll talk about what's behind it. Stacked behind it, I have my complete collection of My Little Monster, and it just fits so perfectly there, and I was running out of space, so I had to start double stacking. And sadly, this is the one that got put towards the back, because there are others that I like more, so they got prioritized, obviously. But still a really solid series, and I still am glad I own the physical collection. All right, so back to the front here. We've got Takane and Hana volumes 1 through 16. This is all that's currently out. I believe there's two more volumes of this one and then we're done. And then I do have The Water Dragon's Bride, all 11 volumes. Again, they stack back. Love this series a whole lot and I love this last cover, so that's why it's facing out. And then I have the four volumes of The Young Master's Revenge. Again, a really fun shoujo. I just had a great time with it. Moving on, again, we're going to talk about the things at the back. This is kind of like my LGBT area of my shelf right now. So I have Seven Days, um, which I loved. The three volumes of Classmates, again, which I love. We have Our Dining Table, which is a singular contained story. Really good. Don't Call Me Dirty and Don't Call Me Daddy. Don't Call Me Dirty was a gift from Dylan over at Dynamic Dylan. Don't Call Me Daddy is kind of like a spin-off sequel to that. And then Manly Appetites Volume 1, which is probably my favorite BL I've ever read. <laughs> Then I've got I Married My Best Friend to Shut My Parents Up, um, which again is complete. Um, I have Volume 1 of Witches Love at the End of the World and Carolyn Tuesday and How Do We Relationship. I also have the first volume of Whisper Me a Love Song and then the complete series of After Hours, which is a really sweet music-centered Yuri. I'm going to talk about the things in the front here because there's only two things and then I believe there's another series stacked back there and we'll grab that. So obviously it's my Yona collection. I love Yona. <laughs> I love this series so much. And then tucked in the corner here we have That Wolf Boy Is Mine which is a four volume series that I really enjoyed. All right so behind it I have my volumes of LDK. Again another series that I'm enjoying but I'm not complete on the collection yet so it's just kind of been scooped back for now and it's a forced proximity situation and it's really good. I believe this one's on KU if you're looking for Rex. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what's on top here. I have Mama Akuma Mint Chocolate and Dear Noman. Um, if you want to see a reaction vlog to these, that's available for VIP members. So you, if you want to become a member, there's more info in the description for you. So tucked here on the side, I'll pull them out. So we have Ne Ne Ne, which is a series I would love more in. The 
White Cat's Revenge as Plotted from the Dragon King's Lap, Volume 1. Really cute series. The two volumes of Fuku Fuku Kitten Tales. The two volumes that are currently out of Sue and Taichan. And then Volume 1 of the Apothecary Diaries, which I'm just going to scoot right there. And then I do have the 13 volumes that are currently out of Waiting for Spring. I am anxiously, excitedly awaiting Volume 14 on that one. And then next to it is Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts, which... I love and adore. One of my all-time favorites and more people need to read it. This will be complete, I believe, at 15 volumes. And so we've just got like three more coming out in that one. And then I have all of the volumes of Hatsuharu, which if you like my love story, is a really great one to try as well. I'm going to shift a little bit. All right, so I have the three volumes of Lit Stance a Waltz, the three volumes of Love and Focus, and the first three volumes of Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. I also have the first three volumes here of Kaiju Girl Caramelize, which I love so much. I have the first two volumes of Fly Me to the Moon. Volume 3 is on its way to me, and I'm really excited to continue on in this series. Then I've got my lovely Girl from the Other Side, all nine volumes that are currently out. This is a series that I actively collect and love and adore. And then I've got We Swore to Meet in the Next Life, and that's when things got weird, Volume 1. I do think I'm going to pick up at least Volume 2 in this series and see how it goes. It's a weird age gap situation. Then I've got Primitive Boyfriend, the complete series, which is a series I love. And then I've got Beasts of Abigail E, again, the complete series. I have the two volumes of Deep Scar that are currently out and the two volumes of Scarlet Soul that are currently out. And next to that is my complete Phantom Dream. You can't really see that, let's shift a little. My complete Phantom Dream volumes. There's only the five. I bought them used. They're a little bit badgered, but I still love them. All right, so I have the 12 volumes of the Overlord manga that are currently out. Again, I quite like that one. Then I've got volumes one through four of Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun. I need to collect more on that one. I have She and Her Cat, which was a gift that I was really excited for. And then the four volumes of Seven Princes of the Thousand Year Labyrinth, a really interesting Jose. I really enjoyed it. Then I have the two volumes of Mythical Beast Investigator, which is making the series complete. I do have the first volume of Miss Koizumi Loves Ramen Noodles, hoping to read volume two for the Manga Love Readathon this weekend. And then I've got the first three volumes of Nicola Traveling Around the Demon's World. Loved that so much. So excited for more. And then I have the first volume of Wizards Blue and the first two volumes of Jack Flash and the Fairy Case Files, both series that take place in the Ancient Magus Bride world. I also have all 13 volumes of the Ancient Magus Bride, one of my favorite universes, and I will read everything I can get my hands on in it. All right, so now I've got the two omnibuses as well as the volume of Future of Orange. Um, these are some, my reviews for these are some of the best performing videos on my channel, and I still stand by everything I say on those. They're really, really good. Um, then I've got the first six volumes of Say I Love You, which I think I'm going to finish on KU and then decide if I want to hunt down the physical volumes or not. And then I've got the three volumes of Train Man. This is the Seinen edition. I quite love the series. It's really sweet. And then I have the first 15 volumes of Assassination Classroom. And then I got this as a gift. And so it made it onto the shelf. All right. Up next, we have the Omnibus of What's Michael, the first volume of Sayonara Football, the first six volumes of Witch Hat Atelier. I hope to read volume seven soon. And then the complete series of Wake Up Sleeping Beauty, another series I really love and really adore. And then I've got the first 10, the, the complete series of The Sacred Blacksmith. I got this as a very generous gift. I cried when I opened it and I will link that either in the cards or down below wherever you can get it because that's at least worth watching. And then I've got the first two volumes of A Witch's Printing Office. I just need to remember to continue to collect this one. And then the first four volumes of The Way of the House Husband. I have mixed feelings on the series at the moment, so we'll see how much more I physically collect on that one. And I've got the first omnibus of Holic, which I really enjoy. I have the complete series of Twinkle Stars, which is the same magaka that does Fruits Basket, which is on my shelf. We'll see it in a minute. And then I've got Drifting Dragons volumes one through three. I have a try three for that here on the channel. Volume one of Pleasure and Corruption. I picked up volume two recently. We'll share my thoughts soon. And then I have the six collector's editions of Card Capture Sakura that are currently out and really love collecting them in this edition. All right, so I just came straight down and then we'll loop around because we're almost finished here. So 
I've got the two volumes of Beyond the Clouds, the first volume of Blue Period, the first volume of Ruby, the official manga. Then we've got a couple of one volume series, which are I Don't Know How to Give Birth and Secretly I've Been Suffering at Being Sexless, which again, I really enjoyed both those series. I feel like they're very real world and I really enjoyed that. The first two volumes of A Man and His Cat, which is all that's out currently. And then I've got the first five volumes of Blue Flag, again, all that is out currently. I have My Senpai is Annoying, which is a series I don't hear a lot of people talking about, but it's really sweet office rom-com. It's actually in color, so it's a, it's a little bit different for the manga space, but I love it. And then I've got the 10 volumes of Beastars that are currently out. This is a series I actively collect, so whenever you're watching this video, I'm sure that I'm current on the publish. And then I have the first four volumes of Night of the Ice, which again are all that are currently out, though volume five might have come out today. <laughs> Um, I'll have to double check that fact for myself. Next up here we have My Androgynous Boyfriend Volumes 1 and 2, all that's currently out. Still love the series. I have The Girl with the Sampaku Eyes Volume 1. I'm hoping to pick up Volume 2 soon. I've got BL Metamorphosis, the first three volumes. Again, all that's currently out, but I love and adore the series. Another series I love and adore is Sweat and Soap. I've got the first five. Again, all that's currently out. Volume 6 comes out next month, I believe, upon filming. And then the complete series of Frau Faust, which is a darker Jose, which I really, really love. Then I've got Cats of the Louvre in this beautiful hardback. And then I've got the Poe Clan volume one in the beautiful, big Fantagraphics hardback. It's hard to pull out from right here without totally wrecking the shelf. So I'm going to leave that for now. All right. So I have the, I have a couple of light novels here. I have, I had that same dream again and at night I become a monster. And the rest of my little light novel collection, I've got the Ancient Mega Spray light novels, as well as the first volume of Restaurant to Another World in a light novel form. Then I've got Forget Me Not. This is a series I really want to reread to see if I want to keep on my shelf. I'm hoping to get to that this year. And this is a seinen romance series, and I just don't know how I feel about it anymore. It's been so long since I've read it, so I want to read it. And then I've got Comey Can't Communicate. I'm missing volume 10 right now, but I have everything else. And it's another series that I love and adore. And I really want more people to be reading if they're not. And then we've got my Erika Sakurazawa collection. I really love their work, though they're not like fluffy, happily ever after kind of stories. It's still really poignant to read them. I really enjoy them. Then I've got the first five volumes of Sorry for My Familiar. I do have at least volume six to still read. Volume seven is out, but I don't remember if I've purchased it yet. <laughs> and then I've got the first, well, the entirety of Dream and Sun. And it's a series that I still enjoy. It's not a favorite like it started out being, but that's just because I'm bitter at the winning relationship, I guess we should say. <laughs> And then I have the first nine volumes of Eden Zero, which is all that is currently out, though I believe volume 10 is coming out very, very soon. On to the last shelf out here, and then I'll take you into the bedroom where I have a few volumes that I prize a little bit more. Alrighty, so tucked back here, I do have the first volume of Welcome to the Ballroom. I'm going to have to shift a lot of this shelf here soon. And then I've got the complete Neon Genesis Evangelion manga. And then I have the first two volumes of Skullface bookseller Honda-san. And then volumes 11, 1 through 12, sorry, of To Your Eternity. I do have volume 13 on my TBR and hope to read that soon. Then I've got the first two omnibuses of Carnival. I do actively want to continue collecting this one. I have the five volumes currently physically published of Living Room Matsunaga-san. Again, a really fun shoujo that I love. And then I have all of the collector's edition of Fruits Basket. I have one through four here and then five through 12 go back. And I just really love the series a whole lot. Let's move into the bedroom, bedroom for the last few and then we'll wrap this up. All right. And last but not least, I do have my Sailor Moon Eternal collection here. Really like having those in here where they can be a little more pretty. And then if I scoot a little bit here, you can get a better look. And this is my Akiko Higashimura shrine. I do have a candle here that I'll just scoot in front of the BTS like K-pop albums there for a minute. So I do have this amazing Japanese volume of Tokyo Terror Rebo Girls. I found it at my used bookstore and there was no way I was going to pass up on that. But I do have all of Blank Canvas, Tokyo Terror Rebo Girls, and Princess Jellyfish physically. And these again are 
series that I love and adore, which is why they're in my bedroom. Why Sailor Moon is in my bedroom is so that I can think about it and reread it soon. <laughs> Quickly before I wrap things up, I do have two box sets, so I'm gonna quickly show you which ones I have. So first up, I have the Orlan High School Host Club box set, which is a series I love and adore. Very good anime as well if you'd rather watch the anime, but I do like the content after the anime ends a lot, so I recommend reading the series. The other box set I have is Blackbird. This one isn't gonna be for everybody, but I really liked this one a lot. We have kind of a childhood friends to lovers situation, but of course you have eternal paranormal beings and it's a lot of fun. So definitely love this. All right, friends. So that is my complete collection. I hope with all my heart that you guys enjoyed this video. If you're interested in becoming a member of this channel to get early access to videos like these and other perks, there is information for you in the description down below. If you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe and click the little bell so you know when I post new videos. I do post a lot of manga content as well as book content, so I hope to introduce you to one or the other if you're here on this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.